Well, howdy, y'all. Welcome to this week's episode of Jedi TV. I'm your host, Jed, and on this week's episode of Jedi TV, I'm gonna give you a tour of my 2,000 square foot shop. You'll recall on the episode Jessica did of the Bell Manor, I promised that I would give you a look at this shop, so I wanted to give you something that shows the shop and the condition before I start working on it. What I've done so far is just get all of the vehicles in. I've got my 1966 Pontiac GTO convertible in here. I've had this car since 1983, and I am gonna do an episode just specifically talking about this car. Eventually, you know I'll get to that. And next up, I have my 1977 Dodge Batvan Edition. This is a project that I've been working on for the last couple of years. Again, it needs its own episode, but just a brief introduction of what's going to be in my toy museum. Speaking of toys, 1988 Toyota MR2, supercharged. It's fast and it's fun. And of course, anybody who watches the show is familiar with my 1999 Ford Jedi van. It's an E350. It's my main shoot rig. So all four of these vehicles will be parked in the shop. This wall is going away, as is that ceiling. So the shop will be one big open space. I'll have a little gaming center set up in here. I'll have all of my toys from my toy museum. You saw uh, the episode that I did where I showed you my 200 square foot toy museum. Basically, I'm expanding on that and making it a 2000 square foot toy museum. So there'll be Star Wars memorabilia, Batman memorabilia, all sorts of stuff spread around the shop. Like I said, my gaming center for all of my Nintendo gaming. Give me a shout out if you're a Nintendo gamer. All sorts of fun stuff in the toy museum section. Uh, right now, I just got the uh, scaffolding delivered today so that we can get the drywall up. We're gonna put drywall on all of the walls in here. Uh, the drywall will go all the way up to the section with the, with the clear panels. That's where the, the light comes in. Uh, of course, we're putting new LED lights in the shop anyways, but obviously I want to leave that natural light coming through as much as possible. So the walls will be sheetrocked, uh, textured, and then painted. Haven't necessarily decided on a color yet, but probably mostly white on these walls in here. Uh, moving on through, like I said, all of this entire section, which is really about 16, 1700 square feet of the shop, will be all toys. And then moving into the back area through this door is where I'll have all of my reloading equipment set up. You can see where my bench will go there. And again, that's the bench that Riverdog built for me. And that's what I do the majority of my loading on. That's what this area will be used for. It'll be where all my tools are housed. Um, this is about an additional 200 plus square feet in here. So I'll have all of my tools and all of my reloading equipment in this area. And then I'm going to be building a wall here to divide and make another section. And that section will be used for the Jedi TV recording studio. That's where I'll do the majority of my recording. So I'll, I'll put some sound panels up and stuff like that so that we get some decent sound in there. That ought to look really cool. And we've got a door here, so we'll figure out where we need to put all of that stuff. I'm gonna light it up in here again with some LED lighting. It's got nothing right now. In fact, the only lighting I get is from the outside. So that's just kind of a brief overview of what it's going to look like. I really enjoy reading the comments from you guys, and I would love to see sort of what your ideas for a shop like this would be. I also wanna know what you think about my ideas for the shop. I wanna know if you're as excited as I am to see it progress. We're probably six to eight weeks before we really get anything done on the project. So keep tuned here to Jedi TV to see all of that. In the meantime, I'm Jed, this is Jedi TV, and I'll see you in some other place in some other time.
I'm, I'm trying not to trip on stuff as I talk to y'all. Thank you.